Hi, uh, welcome to this virtual webinar on whiteboard.chat. My name is Pavan Oberoi and I'm part of Epiphany. I'm going to show you some of the features of whiteboard.chat. Um, so this is the agenda. Uh, we'll show you a demonstration of all the features of whiteboard.chat. We'll, uh, this is a virtual one, so we cannot <laughs> do live experiences, but you can join any of our sessions that we hold every week uh, so you can experience it live with us. So uh, whiteboard.chat is very well received. Uh, I think we launched it about um, almost two months ago and you can see it's been steadily increasing uh, around the world. Right? So it's been used around the world. Uh, we gather feedback from teachers. This thing is totally inspired by teachers around the world and most of the features are driven by that. So what we are trying to achieve with whiteboard.chat is that uh, each student gets an individual board and imagine if you as a teacher can look at exactly what they're doing in real time so you can assess their process of learning. So we give you the capability to watch all of the over the shoulder of all the students at the same time, which is quite unique, right? And you can, um, whatever you're doing on your board get merges with what the student is doing and you can guide them uh, in a one-to-many basis or you can actually join their board and uh, collaborate with them one-on-one. -on -one. You also have the ability to do group boards, which I'll show you, but this is the experience we are trying to achieve here. Again, uh, thank you for watching and if you have feedback you can always send us feedback we'd love to hear from teachers uh, our email is here feedback at whiteboard.chat and follow us on instagram uh, twitter or facebook to get regular updates we update uh, our website almost every other day so we roll out features every other day so please follow us okay that's it i'm going to start showing you the demonstration uh, so I'll open my Chrome browser. I go to whiteboard.chat. Right. So the first thing I want to do is click the start drawing button and then click the start teaching, which will create a, a classroom environment. There's also a start collaborating mode where it's more of everybody collaborating on the same board, but that's just like any other whiteboard. So we want to do the start teaching mode. You can see uh, I become the instructor. I can name this class something. I'll call it demo class. Right. I'll show you all the tools one by one. So the first thing is as soon as you join, you can draw. So there's a very simple drawing tool. You can use your mouse. You can draw with your mouse. Um, there are other tools that are tucked in in this toolbar. So starting from the bottom up, there is a line tool, all the simple tools where you can draw lines, you can draw circles, right, or ellipses rather, rectangles. Uh, anytime you want to go back to the brush, you can either select it from here or just press escape. It will take you back to the br brush icon. Um, there is also of course an object eraser. You can select that to erase objects. You can also uh, do undo. So there is an undo button on top, which will bring back all the, erase. if you erase something by mistake, it will bring you back. We have a text tool. You can either select it from here uh, and type hello, or you can just type anywhere on the screen. Right, and it'll start typing that, which is quite uh, useful. We also have, you can increase the size of the thickness of the brush by using the slider on this side. You can also decrease the opacity or you can just turn it into a highlighter by clicking this button, right? So it will now instead of typing over, so you can change your colors of course by clicking this button here. And this is also something that kids love. So when I change my color, not only it changes the whole background, but it also changes all the tools to the same color. And this is in highlighter mode, so you can see I can draw on top of other objects, right? Uh, we can upload files, this is very unique. So if I have a multi-page PDF, 
uh, what our whiteboard.chat will do is that it'll upload this, uh, it'll insert this PDF file and but create multiple pages automatically. So this is page number one, for example, let me set the opacity back. So you can see this is the page number one, right? And then it has created uh, page number two and page number three. So whenever the students join, they'll get their own individual copy of all of these pages automatically and they can start working on it. So I'll show you how we can get students to join. I'll click this invite button here on the right hand top and then I'll copy this URL which is here. So you click this button to copy the URL, the invite URL. And you can put this in Google Classroom, Canvas, uh, you can put it in a calendar invite, you can email it, um, whatever is your means to communicate with your classroom uh, or manage your classroom. Uh, I'll also show you a very unique thing where you can join the same whiteboard from multiple devices. So I have an iPad here with me. So I'm going to just use my camera on my iPad and scan the QR code. This is the QR code that you see on the screen with the camera. Right? I don't even need to type anything and it will open it on my browser. And then I can use my iPad to write with my pencil or with your finger onto the same whiteboard. right? And that makes it very easy to use. So I'll show you how that would look. So I can say this is my iPad. I'm writing with my iPad here right on the same board, on the same instructor board. That makes it very easy. To show you the student experience, what I'll do is I'll use a different browser such that you can see side by side what the teacher is seeing on the left and what the student is going to see on the right. So I'm going to use the Firefox browser. <coughs> I'll open it on this side and I'll paste the URL that is on my clipboard and you'll see that it'll go directly into the student board. If the student has never joined whiteboard.chat, they'll be asked for a name. In this case, this student has, so they were not asked for a name. It was called. So now you see that they have their own copy. So the student has their own color. They can start drawing on their board, but they cannot uh, erase any of the teacher objects. So if I were to use the eraser here, I'm erasing all of this, but nothing is happening, right? As a teacher object stay, but the, um, the objects that were created by the student all go away. So this is super useful. Um, we can also have, uh, so now what you can do is that the teacher can view the all the students in a grid view. So they can see all of the students that are in the class. Imagine this is, this each of these tiles pertains to a student. So this is almost like a camera that is attached behind the student and you're watching what they are doing all the same time. So if the student changes to the second page of this assignment, this will automatically change. If they go to a group board, it will automatically change. So all of those things show you exactly what the student is doing or seeing in front of their eyes, right? And that's super useful. So uh, you can view it in a bigger picture by clicking this. You can even join this board to collaborate directly with the student on their board as a, as a teacher, right? So I'm back to uh, the student board. Now, um, most of the times the teachers keep, once they have prepared all of this, they uh, keep this in the grid view, they can watch all the students. At any time if the student has a question, they can raise their hand. So they can click this button. Let me change the color so it's a little more obvious uh, on the student board. So I can make it orange. Right? So I can say, hey, uh, I need help. Sorry, not that. <laughs> I need help. I'll click the help button. And you can see on the, uh, it turns green here. That means I'm requesting for help. And then on the teacher board, it says, hey, this student is looking for help. I can click this thing and that will take me directly into the student board as well. Right, and then I can collaborate with them. I can go back to the instructor board, which is the head of the class. We also have built in like a many to one chat. So you can, what that does is that you can create chat, the teacher can create a chat window. So you can see I have created a chat window. You can say hello here. It will go to all the students, but whatever the students reply to the chat, it will only go back to the teacher. And then um, 
but if they are in a group pool where they are collaborating they can talk to each other but the student still uh, the teacher still gets a copy of the chat so they are always aware even if they are not part of the group pool or the breakout room they'll always know what the students are talking about in that room so um, there are several other unique things we have a built in timer so you can actually start a virtual timer here saying this is a timed activity for 3 minutes just set the timer here and this will start uh, counting down on all the student boards and the teacher board and of course you can cancel the timer as well uh, we have um, a, we recently added this ability of a pallet so we have these grids so for example if i go to page number 4 which is empty i can enable a grid that you can use for math for example right um, there is also a handwriting mode for younger kids where they can practice uh handwriting right this is useful for younger kids who have ipads or they want to write with a pen and so forth uh, or with a mouse even and then music teachers love it there is a music sheet that you can embed here let me just delete the objects first yeah so there's a uh, music sheet that you can create we also have some palettes built in so you can actually click this palette and there's a math symbols that you can drop in so i can pick up by symbol and drop it in here or you have a uh, music thing you can drop in into here so you can actually write music very easily right uh, we also have the ability to drop in alphabets uh, for younger kids right so you can say um things of that nature uh, maybe just there's a t right and they can learn how to spell so and we can keep adding if you have any request we can add more palettes very easily so whatever helps you uh, you, you can get to do that uh, so we covered this um, so we can also have the ability to send a poll to all the students so for we can create a poll which says hey send a poll to all the students ask them a question what color do you like so you can just type it here what send a poll what what color do you like no blue green and it'll oh i didn't select the student so at least one student you have to select and it'll send it to them so you can say hey this guy got it no and their response it comes in a simple button that they can pick and you can see what the students responded with you can also send them links so that they can use uh, asynchronous or uh, in a synchronous or an asynchronous mode right uh, so you can send them a link right from here you can say uh, as part of this you can say send a link to the student and i'll send a link to a youtube video for example right and when they join the board they can join it asynchronously they'll see it here and they when they click it you'll come to know in the who all have actually watched that video or click the link rather right so you can see all of that and all of these boards that i'm working with are uh, automatically saved as well so i can go here on the left hand side to manage boards i'll be able to see all of the boards that i have so this is the demo class and under the demo class you'll see this is the student who board that was automatically created and if you have multiple like for example in our last webinar we had a lot of people so you can see all their boards under um, the main board right so this helps you keep a track of uh, all of your boards you can also uh, lock a board for example if it is an assessment or a Uh, you are teaching something and you don't want the kids to be playing at the same time you can lock the board so you can say lock the class and at that time the boards are all locked so the students cannot draw any more right but the teacher can continue to draw or explain stuff right so you can do corrections or you can do uh, explanations and make sure the kids are not drawing at the same time and if you click here it will unlock the board at that point right uh, <clears throat> we have uh, the ability to create group boards as well so we can create a group board where the kids can collaborate with each other so for example if i were to 
open another browser um, and demonstrate you two students right so i can add this uh, invite to the student right they'll get their own copy so this is student two right so they get their own copy of the board right and they can start working on it but at this point uh, i can create a group board where i can say hey students you need to work with each other right so i can say group board with student one and student two i'll call that group blue And then you can see that uh, the students are automatically transferred over to the blue board, right? And then if I were to go to the grid view, I should be able to see that, hey, all the, both the students are working on the same uh, grid uh, in the blue room. And once they are done working on the uh, blue room, I can delete the blue uh, group. It doesn't delete the board, the board still says, stays in the classroom. And but <clears throat> it'll push the students back to their individual boards and I can see that they have come back, right? You can download the whole, uh, all the boards in the classroom or my individual boards in a PDF format and you just click this, it'll download it uh, to my computer and I can uh, submit it for assessment or, or the students can do that too for their own records or I as the teacher can do it for the whole classroom as well, right? So it makes it super easy to keep records uh, uh, when the uh, classes are going on. Uh, you can make copies. So if you're using the same material to teach multiple classes, you can make copies. So once you prepare all the material in advance, you can make a copy saying, hey, this is my for the my 10 a.m. class, this is for my 5 p.m. class. and you can just put the invite links to those classes in your uh, in your class management classroom management thing we also have some funky like animation features so if if you select an object for example if i select this i can animate it right kids like that um, of course right and then you can also so for example if i have several different objects i want to group together i can use this lasso tool so I can say, hey, lasso all of these things together. They become one object and you can move them. You can actually clone them. So if I were to clone it, I can create another copy. I can, uh, of course, resize it. So I can make it much, much, oops. That was not what I wanted to do. But <laughs> I, uh, you can, again, move them. And then I can resize it a little bit. Yeah, I can see it resized to a bigger fashion. And of course, you can rotate it and delete it or do whatever you want with the object at that point. Right? Um, so, yeah. And then uh, you can lock objects as well. So you prevent them from, un even as a teacher, you don't want to accidentally delete stuff that you have put on your board so you can uh, lock it so at that point if you use the eraser you'll see that this doesn't get deleted right and once you unlock it it'll get deleted i think um, yeah another feature people ask for that you can actually lock the board so that only logged in users with valid email addresses can uh, join the boards we don't need the student to register we don't even need the uh, teacher to register unless they want to save their work but um, this, if you want to have make sure the students are using valid emails when they log in and you can see who they are you can enable that feature okay. uh, what else did I have to cover I think I covered most of these things we have a video call built in as well but most people use this very easily with zoom or with google meet uh, and I think that's pretty much it. Again, uh, please join us for a live session in the future if you have time. Uh, and then always send us feedback and then uh, follow us on Facebook or Instagram or whatever uh, or, or Twitter, right? And you will get to see a lot more frequent updates from us. Thank you. Thanks for watching.